My bad. My bad. My bad. I ain't dead. I ain't dead. We got this. You guys want to do story time? I do story time now. I don't know if you guys knew that. But Meep is doing homework, so he doesn't have time for story time. You know, he loves story time. Meep, you're supposed to be doing homework. It's not story time yet. All right, let me find a story, okay? Let me find a story. I remember I made three stories. The stories that I had, they sucked. Oh, no, you just finished? Okay. All right. It's story time. Okay, ready? Here we go. Story time with Poppy. Presenting a mild ass wearing a green shirt. I just realized I wear a green shirt, so now you can see through me a little bit. No big deal. No big deal. All right. Here we go. <clears throat> I don't know what this story is called, but I did what I did an AI thing. So the AI is what made the story. Okay. So bear with me. This might take five minutes. This might take 10 minutes, but I'm going to try my best to go to get through it. With that said, just so you know, you can play whatever sounds you want. You could change my voice, whatever it takes. Okay. Oh, I got to come up with a name. Okay. Okay. This one's called hiking no wait this one's called camping with brie there we go got it that's okay that's not good enough that's a good one story time with poppy presents camping with brie narrated by yours truly <clears throat> deep within the uncharted yeah. Hi, Bobby. Hey, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let us begin. Camping with Brie. Deep within the uncharted expanse of old pine forest towered ancient trees which guarded their secrets with zealous silence. Big words. Legends swirled among the locals of a creature that prowled beneath the shadowy bogs. B-O-U-G-H-S. Bogs. A beast from folklore. Folk, folk, folklore. Feeding off the fear of those who dared to wander its domain. All right? Got that? It was said to be older than the forest itself, a, monst a monstrous entity known only as the Skulk. <laughs> as the Skulk. Four hikers. Poppy. Bree. Meep. And Maya. Driven by the whispers of adventure and undaunted by small town superstitions, set out one overcast morning to conquer the forest trails. Got that? Dressed. Dressed to face the elements and equipped with camping gear, they embarked on what they believe was a journey of scenic trails and wild, wild camping under the stars. You know what I'm saying? You guys know what I'm saying. You know what I'm getting at. You know what I'm talking about. Their laughter and bravado echoed through the woods, disturbing the solemnity, the solemnity, solemnity of the wilderness that dutifully kept the monster's secret as daylight trickled through the dense canopy. They trans, they traversed, they traversed the forest increasingly surrounded by an unsettling stillness. Birds cease their songs and wildlife vanish as if aware of some unseen peril. And the second day, after everything went down, because it was a crazy night, no big deal, we'll talk about it later. At, uh, I don't know who's Alex, okay, that's me. Poppy spotted something bizarre. A tree marked with deep, deliberate gashes, as it as if clawed by an enormous hand. Like Blade Breeze hands, but you know. A chill skated down their spines, but cut but who the fuck is Khalib? Hold on. But Meep. 
Where am I at? But Meep dismissively mused about the markings being the work of a of a mundane creature. <laughs> Perhaps a bear. Despite his efforts at levity, an odd tension had crept into the party. That night, nestled within a clearing, I just spit. They wrapped themselves in a in the warmth of a campfire, the flickering light pushing back the creeping dread of the encroaching darkness. As the fire glow faltered, a haunting howl spilled from the gloom. Unnatural and guttural. Sounds like medicine. It seemed to beckon into them into despair. Bree proposed to turn back at daybreak because she had she had a poop. But when they awake, the trail they followed was gone. The forest appeared to have shifted. An impossible labyrinth of vegetation erected to trap them within. Panic threatened to splinter the group. But Maya, with a map in hand and determination in her gaze, she was like, convinced them that she... That she could navigate a way out. Throughout the day, as Maya led them in a new direction, an eerie fog, that's a fart, that's that fart they just did, an eerie fog descended upon them. By evening, not only had they made no progress, but they also realized they were being hunted by something malan, mal, 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 Malau, male, malevolent, malevolent, malevolent. Their nerves frayed, consumed by the feelings of eyes boring into them from all sides. Boring. The fog thickened, and a ghostly, a, a ghastly silence suffocated the air. Oh Punctu yes, Daddy. Hell yeah! Punctuated only by the sound of something large stalking just beyond the veil of mist. You know what I'm saying? They came, then came the whispers. It was like, <laughs> a chorus of hushed inhuman voices that surrounded the terrified hikers. It was the skulk and it was toying with his prey in a frantic bid to escape they bowed they bolted in different directions a critical mistake that was that the monster had been waiting for separated and lost each hiker faced the skulks horror alone poppy felt Breath on his neck. And I was like, oh, no big deal. Turning just in time to see towering antlers and a maw filled with gnashing, ganashing teeth, ganashing teeth before darkness claimed him. So I was the first one to go. You think he'll get full, but, you know, I guess it's not, you know, it's hungry. Um... Bree, last moments were filled with a scent of decay as tentacle-like appendages enveloped her. Meep stumbled and fell, only to be gripped by taloned hands and dragged him beneath the earth's surface. Maya, heart pounding, managed to climb a tree, hiding amongst the box. B-O-U-G-H-S. Bogs. The skulk revealed in the hunt. 
basking, basking in the terror of its prey before it meta, method, methodically, methodically silenced them. Maya, paralyzed in her arboreal refuge, watched through tears as the forest calmed and fog lifted. The skulk, its hunger sated, sated, retreated into the obscurity bestowed by the trees. Hang on, guys. We're almost, we're almost at the finish line. As the sun rose, casting its light upon the remnants of the carcasses, I mean, of the campsite below, Maya descended. The forest was still once more old and undisturbed like Poppy, bearing no trace of her friends. She alone remained a survivor bearing witness to the darkness that lurked with, within Old Pine Forest. And so the legend persisted. A stark warning etched into the psyche of those who heard the tale. The skulk continued to dwell in the shadows and the fear of his hunt seared into the memory of the forest, ready to claim any who dared to unravel the secrets of the trees. You're welcome. Hold on. No big deal. Thanks for watching, dudes. For our newest video, click here. Thank you.